Hi there, welcome back to my channel and Chag Purim Sameach. Happy Purim! You may not recognize me because I am dressed up like Esther. Yes, Esther from the Purim Spiel, the Purim, Spiel, the Purim story. Um, I have my Purim costume ready to go. More about that in a minute, but I wanted to welcome you guys here and thank you for being here because it is time to get ready for Purim. Yes. Jewish holiday of Purim is just around the corner, so I'm starting with our costumes because dressing up is a huge part of the holiday, and I'll share more about that in a minute. Um, but what I want to do with you guys today is number one, get everything out for Purim. We have like our, you know, holiday bins in the basement, so I'll, I'll take you there in a minute, and we can get everything out books, toys, everything I got. And then I want to start working on my homentashin recipe, which I actually have here in my cookbook. Um, so I need to make sure I have all the ingredients because I'm going to be making a lot of homentashin. It's traditional on Purim to bake homentashin cookies and give them out as mishloach manot or with other special treats to people. So I end up baking like a ton of them. And I also love them. They're my number one favorite cookie. Okay, so let's go find what I've got for Purim. Let's see what I have. Okay, so this is our basement and this is our storage room in our basement. Don't mind the baby locks. Ta-da! <laughs> um, so things are semi-organized. I have one bin pretty much for, well, for each holiday, sort of, but some holidays like Passover get two bins and Hanukkah has like a hundred bins. I also keep um, my kids clothes like to pass down to the next one here. Um, so here we have our Purim and Passover bin, so let's pull it out. I don't even remember what's in it. Oh, it's been about a year <laughs> since I pulled this out. This is probably mostly Passover, but oh look, we've got our Purim books. Oh, I love this one. Meet the home intention. What else is in here? It's been a lot of Passover. Oh, the grogger. So this is a grogger. When you hear the story of Purim read aloud in the synagogue and you hear Haman's name, who is the evil man in the story, people make noise and shake a dragger. Let's see. Oh, meet the matzah. <laughs> oh, here we go. I've got a homentashin. I think this is a table runner. Yeah, so I'll bring that up. I also have a homentashin. Um, Apron. This is by Arielle Zorger Designs. I'll definitely tag her. She sent all this stuff to me last year, I think. Oh, and yes, there's also a Homentashen plate. How gorgeous is that? Oh, and some Homentashen shirts for the kids. Okay. Just shared what... Oh, here's a mask. On form we dress up, like I mentioned. So this is a mask to wear or decorate the table. I mentioned groggers. This is a really traditional grogger. This is like part of the story of Purim. And then when you turn it, it makes a noise. So if you can imagine the whole synagogue turning these, <laughs> making lots of noise every time Haman's name is read from the Megillah. Okay, so I'm back in my office and I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about the sponsor for today's video, which is HalloweenCostumes.com. But Mary, it's not Halloween, it's Purim. I know, but they have a whole section on their website for Purim costumes. So they have this Esther one, which is so fun. I've never had a, like, Esther kind of, like, I've never had a costume like that. It's so fun. Um, they also have Haman. They have a Homentashin. And then for my husband, we actually got... I wanted him to be King of Hasharosh, so we got this like beautiful um, cape, is that what it's called? Fit for a king. I actually, we did a little reel on Instagram, so I'll pop that right over here so you guys can see what we all look like. And then the boys, of course, wanted to be dinosaurs, so it's gonna be Esther, King of Hasharosh, and three little dinosaurs. Um, but the costumes are such good quality, they're so fun. I especially like this. Dilophosaurus costume. Let's see if I can oh, try it on so you guys can see. Okay, so this is a kid's costume, <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, like, isn't it lovely? So it's like super soft. It's got all of the flaps. 
Is it a Dilophosaurus? I apologize to my children and all dinosaur lovers if I said the wrong name, but I think it's a Dilophosaurus. Ah! And then we also got a T-Rex one. <laughs> and then my baby is a Triceratops, I think. I can't keep them straight, but I'll, I'll show you guys a little video so you can see what they look like. But go check them out, and I have a discount code for you guys so you can order your Purim costumes and have them all ready to go in time for Purim. I'll put the code right here so you guys can use it and all the info and links in the description as well. So thank you so much to HalloweenCostumes.com for sponsoring this part of the video and for giving you guys a discount for Purim costumes. Okay, I've got everything set up for my home intention. Whenever I bake, by the way, I like to put everything out on a nice clean counter. Like take everything out before I even get started. Um, this is my home intention recipe. By the way, this is our like family cookbook. We had this amazing uh, photographer, I'll link her, come and take pictures of us doing all our family recipes. Anyway, so this is my home intention one. I'll link, I have a whole video on how to make them and I'll show you guys some tips and tricks when I get to um, like actually forming them but I'm gonna make the dough really quick and put it in the refrigerator and then we'll get to the fun part. So this is my famous and delicious home and fashion recipe. It is so good guys, I'm not exaggerating, it's the best. <laughs> so the dough is so easy to work with. It comes together really quickly. I'll put the description for the recipe, um, I'll put the recipe in the description below. Um, and then what I do is I just refrigerate the dough until I'm ready to work with it. And then I usually take about half out at a time to work with just so it doesn't get too warm. Um, you wanna keep the rest refrigerated as you go. Then I got my little helper to come help me roll out the dough, which is always fun. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, <laughs> So didn't want to wait for it to warm up a little bit you kind of have to just massage it with your hands for like a few minutes when it comes out of the refrigerator so it's ready to go but he did not want to wait that's okay so after my little helper helped me then I just rolled out the dough and then you just need a round cookie cutter I have actually biscuit cutters um, but as you can see the dough like lifts up from the countertop surface really easily and because I'm making just traditional ones to put in the freezer I'm putting strawberry jam inside the middle and then you just pinch the corners and I do the fold and pinch technique which means I pinch the corners then I fold the corners and then I pinch the corners again because my goal is for them to not open up in the oven I want them to stay perfectly shaped um, which they do so I recommend this technique pinch fold pinch <laughs> Okay, so I just finished making the home intention. I'm going to freeze them because they freeze great. And what I love about my recipe, look how stunning. I hate to brag, but these are the best home intention that exists. I'm sorry, but they are. And they hold up perfectly to freezing. Like they don't crumble. You know what I mean? They're not, they're not sensitive. So I thought I would taste one. And my baby, Zachy, is gonna taste one with me. And I'll show you guys how good they are. Mmm. Mmm. They're so good. Would you like to try some cookie? Here you go. Want some? Mm. You want a bite? Not sure? Here, have a bite. <laughs> what do you think? Is that so yummy? Oh no. Do we drop a piece? You can pick it up. Yes, go ahead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yummy home <laughs> dashes. Alright, so that's us all set and ready for poor him. <laughs> Someone's very happy with their omentasha cookie. Um, I will definitely film a few more omentasha videos. I always like to do some sort of new spin on the recipe. Last year I did rainbow and unicorn omentasha. So I will film that um, and put up some more Purim content. Uh, don't forget to check out the HalloweenCostumes.com and the discount code and all that. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up if you like it. And I definitely recommend subscribing. That way when you go on YouTube, um, you might see my videos pop up on your feed. So if you're interested in anything Jewish mom content, go ahead and hit subscribe. Zach, can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Bye, guys.